G'day, it's Taro here from Sunland Caravans, and today we're going to look at a custom 17 foot 6 Sunland Scorpion. Now, Scorpion for 2024 is going to be called the Blue Heel LT, so I hope there's not too much confusion there, but the van itself will be identical to this anyway. So let's have a look through this van and see what they've got. Okay, we'll start at the front here. So start, first of all, we've got our Gullwing Toolbox, which is the smaller of the two Gullwing Toolboxes we've done. These people have optioned to have them powder coated as well, which is a nice hammer tone powder coat, nice and neat. This side here of the toolbox, we have provision for your two nine kilo gas bottles. And then on the other side, it's completely empty, so it's pure storage. These guys have also asked for the optional electric jockey leg, uh, in, in addition to your normal Manutech jockey wheel. You'll see all our connections come through to a single point here. In this case, they've gone with a seven pin large. We give you the option um, round. We give you the option of a seven pin flat or a 12 pin flat or a small seven pin round as well. Anderson plug here as well. We've got stability control, which is optional on this model. You can see, tell that by that little box there. We've got our DO35 off-road hitch and our ratchet handbrake. So all that's nice and neat. Our change, you'll see we even weld on these little hooks on the side of the A-frame here so you can hang up your chains and not drag it on the ground. We'll go and have a look down the side of the van. But first of all, through boot. So we still have a decent sized through boot, even though this is a small van. And we'll have a look there. Huge amount of space in there. We've, still got, we've got a manual awning across the top here. You'll see the legs are a little bit shorter, which allows us to put that through boot in there. Uh, they've got no external speakers, no external entertainment. Customer's choice. We've got an external table though, and we have an external 240 PowerPoint outlet. So if they're going to use an air fryer or a, um, an electric fry pan or something like that, perfect to do that out here. We've got our gas bayonet here at the back of the van in this, in this case. So if you want to hook up a barbecue, again, you could use that table there and have the outlet there. We've got our hot water system. Now, we have come around to the back of the van. We've still got our two hatches like we do in our Blue Healers and our Phoenixes. Um, in this case, we, ha we have our hot water system here. So you'll see we'll have the Gerard Instant hot water system. We have water, two water tanks fitted. So we've got two water pumps and a water filter and a red water diversion valve. So these guys have optioned on this 17 foot 6 tandem axle. I forgot to mention that tandem axle. Still has a 190 litre general purpose water tank, a 60 litre filter drinking water tank, and a 130 litre grey water tank. So it's pretty much got the same stuff as a blue healer, but in a much smaller van. Exter rear bumper is aluminium pole carrier, so you see that's made out of aluminium. We've got our number plate and our lights, plus that storage. These guys have gone with the provisional spare wheel carrier on the back. So it has its traditional spare wheel underneath at the front of the van there. You wind it down very similar to a, a Land Cruiser mechanism. But these guys have also got an additional one on the back, so if they want to carry a second spare wheel for the car or the van, nice and easy. Power. So for a little van, this has got a lot of power. We've got two 225 amp power lithium batteries, plus our brains, brains for the batteries as well, which has got your solar regulators, your DC, DC charger, and whatnot built into there. And our Victron 3000 inverter charger, and our full 180 watt solar panels on the roof. So a huge amount of power for this little van. Let's have a look inside the van. Okay, so now we're inside the van. Obviously, being a 17 foot 6 van, the layout is a little bit different to our uh, conventional vans. To start off here, we've got a full-size queen mattress, so that is still the full length and full width, but it is turned into a yacht-style bed, so it's going east-west. A little bit of walk around at the end of the bed here, but not a lot. This all just comes down to space. They've had the TV mounted up here, which I guess is perfect for when you're watching TV or when you're sitting at your, your bench seat there as well. In addition to that being the way it is, access to the beds is a little bit differently, different to our other models. So in this case, we have a hatch door there, huge amount of storage underneath there. We have a storage bench here with our heater controls and our 240 and our 12 volt outlets there. Gives you a little side drawer and a side cupboard there as well. Now the seating, because we can't really fit a traditional cafe dinette in a van this small, we've gone with a bench seat with this Tommy table sort of table. So this table gives you the ability to slide it backwards and forwards and up and down. Um, it is still perfect for two people. The only thing it doesn't really give you is the option of putting your feet up, but you could have a couple of foot cushions or sit in bed if you want to get a little bit more comfortable. Kitchen space hasn't been compromised too much though. This is still a very, very big kitchen. I love the colours scheme they're going with these guys. So the matte colours and then the, this wood grain type laminate. You'll see we've got three, three drawers here. We've got a pantry there. We've got under sink storage, which is perfect for your bigger items, coffee machines and stuff like that. And then we've got additional storage along here through all these drawers. 
Now one thing you'll see, there's no cooktop in this, so I guess these guys are gonna use a induction cooktop, which would fit here perfectly underneath the range hood. We've got a microwave up the top there. They've even optioned not to have a draining board, which does give you that more working area, I guess, the bench space. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I think that actually works really well. Uh, nice clean cupboards across the top here. Still our soft close um, drawer runners and our cabinet make hinges and our gas struts with our concealed handles. Beautiful, nice and neat. To have a look at the fridge here. So this is a 12 volt compressor fridge. The same as what's standard in most of our models, 190 litres. But what we've done a little bit differently here is we put a mirror fridge front on the, on the front of it so we can get a full length mirror. And you have a look inside the fridge there. That's our normal 190 litre fridge. Okay, I'll swap with the cameraman and we'll see if we can have a look at the ensuite. Okay, so the ensuite isn't too much different to a 19 foot 6 Blue Heel actually, which is too bigger than this one. It's pretty much identical actually. We've got our fiberglass bench top with our built in molded sink. Beautiful, nice and Nice and neat, gets the plumbing right to the back of the sink there. Our illuminated backlit mirror. Our overhead cupboards, again, same deal as the kitchen. We're using proper struts and um, hinges there. All empty, lots of storage. A little linen press here in the corner. And we still have our washing machine in the bench there. So that's a 2.6 kilo wash, top load washing machine. Does have provision for a front load washing machine if you prefer a front load. Um, but I do find the top loaders are far more popular. And then of course we've got our fiberglass, one piece fiberglass shower with a built-in seat. And on the other side we have our conventional cassette toilet. Okay, so that's the 17 foot six Sunland Scorpion. If you would like some more information on this one, look up on our website on sunlandcaravans.com.au. Just remember it will be called the Blue Healer LT on our website though, not the Scorpion. We've just gone through a name change just to freshen it up. Um, all new specs for their 2024 models will be online very shortly in the next few days. There has been a few changes um, for some of our models, so have a look at that. And we've got some new power options and all sorts of things coming, which is fantastic and exciting at the same time. We will be at the Brisbane show in June, so I'm already starting to get a few questions about that. We'll definitely be, be there. My plan is to take a 20 foot 6 Phoenix, but a new model Phoenix that you haven't seen before. So that, that's a little bit exciting as well. If you'd like any more information on this or any of our bands, our website's a great place to start, our Facebook page, or give myself or Michael a call. If you like our videos, subscribe, like, tell us what you'd like to see in our videos. We're always happy to, um, to accommodate people's requests. I know somebody's asked for a roof one, so next time it's not raining, I'll try and get up on the roof and do another roof video up there as well. All right, guys, have a great day.